So let's say you've just watched the latest Marvel movie and you've noticed that in basically every single shot there is lens dirt, and being the artistic visionary that you are, you've decided to copy this technique. What you'll need is, of course, an image of some lens dirt, which you can find on the internet. I just downloaded this one, and you will need an image to add lens dirt onto. I will be using this render, which is from a movie that I'm currently working on, and the image of lens dirt I am using is right here. So the first thing you'll want to do is add in a scale node in the Blender compositor and set it to render size and then crop. Now you'll get this. This is our lens dirt image. Now let's add in a glare node, connect it to our image, set it to fog glow, and set the quality to low because we want a nice big thing. When you set it to high, it, it scales the image up so it's less intense, basically. Then set mix to one so that we end up with just this image and none of the background. Next, add in a mix node, set this to multiply, and hook up these two nodes. Now, look at that. Lens dirt, and it's being lit up right where the image is. Now all we have to do is duplicate this node, set it to add, and put the original image right here. And I'll flip these so that the lens dirt's on the bottom. Now the factor controls how intense it is. Now this is pretty good. This is like it'll get the job done. But if you want to make it look even better, what you can do is duplicate this glare node. And again, we'll want the image. And set it to ghosts. Now this looks terrible. But the reason this looks so bad is because the area of the image that's glowing is fairly close to the center of the screen. And so it just does that. But if it's towards the side, what you'll end up with is something that looks more like a lens flare. And then what you want to do is add in a blur node. And you can set it to fast Gaussian if you want. It tends to look a little bit more bumpy than Gaussian, but you know, it gets the job done. And let's do like 200. That usually looks pretty good. Next, what we'll do is before this multiply node, I will just move these over. Before this multiply node, we can add this glare to this glare using another mix node. So we can do that. Now our entire glare looks like this, which is kind of bad looking. And I just realized I didn't put the blur in, so let's let's put the blur in. And we can turn down the factor on this quite a bit so that most of the glare is centered around the bloom that we've created using fog glow and almost none of it is the streaks and they're just kind of barely there in the background. Now what we end up with is this image where most of the dust is here and there's a little bit towards the sides of it. Now this still looks like too much around the sides to me so I'm just gonna decrease this number until I'm happy with the look and of course if you want to be really crazy with it you can go really high and now look at that image we can turn this down, or we can turn it up, we can turn this up to make it look stupid, and that is how you create realistic lens dirt in the Blender Compositor. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see content that may or may not resemble this video. Goodbye.